Hey, hello, your second trap, Wolf Gordock, a few minutes ripping an IT and IT security. Today, looking at security of DNS. Uh, don't know about you, but I'm trying to remember the name is terrible. You go and you're like, hey, do, do it. you look familiar. <laughs> do I know you because you're a friend? Have I worked with you before? Did we meet in a conference? Uh, have I dated you before? I mean, there's a. it's just terrible, right? Remembering names I'm not so good at. I used to be really good at remembering IP addresses. Back in the day, I was like, hey, I want my DNS server 10.50.1.48. I want my backup 10.50.149. I want my proxy server 55. I want my primary Citrix server 117. You know, I still remember these things. They're still in my head. But then I run to someone on the street and I'm like, Frank Bob Sue? <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, and these days, too, since uh, I'm no longer nitty gritty into the network stack, a lot of that's going away, right? So thank goodness for DNS. But tip for you, you need to protect your DNS, security DNS. And I don't necessarily mean DNS sack, we should do a video about that. No, 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 I mean the fundamentals of DNS security. I was in a, a meeting today, we've got an engagement coming up, but we gotta check the security of the DNS. And the guy's like, what's the way to check? They make queries and, you know, IP addresses come back. I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a few things you can check. One is, from a recon perspective, the old trick, the old guard trick uh, was to do a zone transfer. Right? Ask your DNS for zone transfer and dump the full file. Most people have already blocked that, but you should definitely check to make sure this is blocked. Another older trick is um, block is using the fact that 53 UDP DNS ports is usually open to do exfiltration. Maybe it's DNS tunneling. Maybe it's DNS proxying. Either way, you're wrapping that port or the DNS protocol itself and using that as a mechanism to proxy traffic in and out of your network. Used to be a great way to get free Wi-Fi before everyone and their brother offered free Wi-Fi. Uh, what else? The other thing is you can use it as an indicator of compromise or, or a uh, leading log source. So it could be as simple as, as simple as dumping all your DNS traffic logs into your SIM, burning a part of your SIM for known bad um, domain names, known bad IP addresses, and highlighting those known bads and using those as an indicator of compromise. Now you may say, wait a minute, it's a little too late. My end user just looked up knownbad.com, got that IP address, and they connected back, and then they used DNS tunneling to send out data. Yay, it's in my SIM. Well, there's other things you can do, right? Such as uh, no routing those IP addresses. Uh, so that when the bad name is asked for, it gets 127.00. That's a great way to stop an in-progress attack. And of course, there are services out there like uh, OpenDNS that will automate this for you and uh, keep track of those known bads and offer an additional layer of protection on the name services. So those are the three areas that popped into my mind for basic fundamental network security around the DNS service. What I miss? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Hit me up on social media or comments. Have a good one.